It's my TikTokers and my Twitters. It's Sheila True Love here with you. I am uh, posting a video here. You know, you have a lot of people who say, I don't date black men or I don't date Caucasian men or what have you men. But, you know, truth be told, you have rotten men in all races. It's not just one specific race where you're going to find um, low down, dirty, rotten men. They're everywhere. I want to share this video with you with a female who says that she has dated numerous different type, all different races. And the problem was that she didn't have any boundaries that she stood by and that she upheld. Anyway, listen in. I just want to say something real quick. As someone that has attracted trash out of every single racial group, I have dated abusive white men. I have dated abusive indigenous men. I've dated abusive black men. And it took me years of therapy to realize that the common denominator was my lack of boundaries and my lack of self-worth. I was allowing any man that showed me the time of day to come in and love bomb me and then turn into a goddamn psychopath once they got their claws on me. We as women have to get picky because these men do not care if you are 15 miles out of their league. They're still going to shoot their shot because they know a lot of us have self-worth issues, self-esteem, and mm -hmm. lack of boundaries. But the men prey on women that do not have boundaries are usually narcissists, and that's why we get into these hella abusive relationships. So I urge any woman that is noticing that they are only attracting trash to pull back and stop dating. <laughs> you don't mean just go and date out because you can find the same trash on the other side of the Men of any race will prey upon you until you heal. Because once you heal and you've done the reflection and you've done the work, you will be able to see these red flags so fast. They will tell you anything, anything that you want to hear. They will tell you, oh, that's not me. That's just him. I'm not like that. I'm not. I'm different. That's only white men. That's only black men. Blah, 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 blah. But actions speak louder than words. That's right. Because they will tell you anything you want to hear they will tell you oh i'll never do that ever and then they're gonna do it yeah so i don't think that jumping to a different kind of man is gonna get you a different kind of treatment so it's it's just that show what treatment you're gonna get if he's acting funny it's not it. Because that's the only thing that you want to hear. And thinking that different races are, are all going to be different is in America is BS. Because <laughs> we're all living under American culture. So they can absorb something toxic from somebody else. So, no. Um, I don't don't buy that. Please do not believe that that's going to make a difference. It's not. It's really not. The difference is in how they show you, how they treat you, and in their actions. It's not based off race or whatever. That's all of that is irrelevant. She is absolutely right. And you see how young she is? So that goes to show... Even women who are younger, the younger generation, they're starting to wake up. And it has nothing to do with race. It has nothing to do with that. Everything, to be honest with you, is up to the women. These men are not forcing women at gunpoint to put up with this bad behavior like she, like the young lady realized, and I'm so proud of her. You know, it's up to the women. Women can't keep playing victim. And if someone is treating you badly, why are you still there? You know? If I can get women to understand at least that part, then we're halfway there, baby. We're halfway there. It's not about what a man says. It's about what they do. I hate using cliches. However, one has got to be put in place here. Action always speaks louder than words. That's why my love language can never be words of affirmation. It could never be that because it's just words. 
My love language is acts of service and call it, well, when it comes to my children, quality time that you spend with me and acts of service. When it comes to a man, it's gifts and acts of service. When it comes to my friends, it's acts of service and written of words of affirmation to some extent. Yeah, but with my friends, it's basically acts of service. <clears throat> and if someone is going to give me words of affirmation, I don't want them spoken to me. I want them written to me. You can send it to me an email, a text, a letter. Yeah, I prefer that. But sitting around just talking that talk, talk, I'm not trying to hear none of that, really. Anyway, Molly, I share that with you. And I will be posting some more videos. I'm going to try to do 10 videos today. I have some Bible studies that I have to conduct starting at 2 o'clock, um, unless they're canceled. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll get through, and we'll just make our videos as we go. I love you, and I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I know I am. I just finished with my Christian meeting today, and we were focusing on Luke chapter 13 where people are saying, Lord, Lord, did I not prophesy in your name? Did I not do what you told me to do? Did I not eat with you? And Jesus is going to tell them, get away from me, you workers of evil. So for all those people who think that they're doing the right thing by going to church, knocking at doors and all of that, child, look, if you don't have Christian love, you're just wasting your time. Okay? But it was an amazing meeting on uh, Luke chapter 13, like I said, and I will be talking to you again, my darlings. Thank <laughs> you.